This week on Outdoor Bound TV, we're off to Sparta, Wisconsin, the home of Matthews Archery and also the home of Mission Crossbows. Now we'll get a rare behind the scenes tour on how the new Sub-1 crossbow was designed, how it was developed, and how it's manufactured today. Then it's off to Ontario, Canada with pro staffer John Herman, his father Bill, and his brother Rick for a lake trout trip in Ontario's sunset country. What a beautiful animal. Unbelievable. Another great hunt. Oh, what a day. Look at that. That is a bear. That's a giant walleye. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. Mission Crossbow sets a new standard in crossbow design with the all-new Sub-1. With over 26 revolutionary patents, including 80% let-off Sync X cam system and CNC machined flight deck, the Sub-1 is the most accurate crossbow the world has ever seen. Featuring benchmark fire control, the Sub-1 is the first crossbow that allows you to safely decock with the push of a button. Unparalleled maneuverability, quality, and accuracy. The Sub-1 redefines the crossbow experience. Northland Auto Center, the Midwest's premier dealer of Yeti fish houses, introduces the 2018 line of ultimate all-season trailers, built for summer fun, fall hunting, and winter ice fishing. The Yeti ranges in size from 16 to 21 feet, and you're sure to find the perfect layout to fit your family. With unique designs featuring a kitchen and bathroom, your opinion of a fish house will never be the same. See the pros at Northland Auto Center to create your own legend with Yeti. Excellent. Oh, there's a good one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at how he ate that he too. He ate that Google Eye jig. This is the Google Eye. It's available in a live bait series and then a long hook shank series. And what we did is we took a glass rattle and built it into the middle of the round jig head and just bouncing it and hits the bottom. That glass rattle is rattling and it's sending off vibration in this dirty water in this river. And that's the result right there. This one's coming home with me. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we travel to Sparta, Wisconsin, the home of Matthews Archery, and also the home of Mission Crossbows. Now we'll get a chance to meet some of the people responsible for the design and development of the new Sub-1 Crossbow. Then we get a rare behind the scenes tour of the Matthews facility to see just how this revolutionary crossbow is built. Every process required to make our bows is done in-house. This ensures that we can set really crazy design standards and the quality procedures required to maintain them. You're going to see evidence of this in every department. From robotics, high-end quality machining, and proprietary machinery. Everything we manufacture here is built for a purpose. We don't just build stuff to build stuff. The Sub-1 crossbow is a perfect example of something that's purpose-built. The general flow of material through our facility is raw materials come in. They go through a rigorous inspection before we even put them on a piece of equipment. They then go into the machining process. Um, and again, after everything's machined, it goes through another quality check. Every department that we go through, there's a quality check. Everything is insured all the way through the entire facility. So after we're done machining, uh, product will go into our finishing department where we do hydrographics, otherwise known as film dipping, powder painting, and any other type of finishes that are required for our products. Again, quality check. Uh, everything is visually inspected there. 
we have some pretty insane standards as far as visual decoration of our products. So once products come moving out of our finishing area, it goes into our final assembly department. And that's where all the magic happens. That's where we're building all the cool stuff that everybody wants to see. We offer a lot of different options across all of our bow lines, so it's, it's a pretty in-depth process of how we assemble. Once the bow is assembled, it goes through a couple more tests. We test the trigger for a couple different functionality requirements. We also test the bow itself, gets test fired at least one time, if not twice. Once the crossbow has passed all the testing required, it's moved out to our packing department, where they put it inside of the case, box it up, and shipped out the door. Everything we build here is built for a purpose. We're proud of all the products that we produce in this facility. The Sub-1 is the pinnacle of our manufacturing process. It's a whole new standard in manufacturing, and I'm certain it's going to set the standard for the industry going forward. We're always trying to do things radical. I've had people say for the years, hey, Matt, you don't do anything normal, you know? But the reason why we do these things different at times uh, is because we really see an advantage. We see a mechanical advantage or some type of advantage. Just the looks of something makes it different. But what we've done is really brought every category, the limbs, the, the cams that we've designed, uh, the rails, the, uh, the grips, the, the trigger mechanism. We engineered it and designed all of that here. And said, so let's just completely remake how these things are built. The development time on the new Sub-1 was over two years and that was because we knew we had to have everything just perfect and it had to be the best crossbow we could possibly build. We started out with making the best trigger possible and all the other components had to follow suit. The new Sub-1 Benchmark Fire Control System has all the same great safety features that our previous MXBs did. One of the main features was it had to be able to decock a crossbow. You don't need any extra target to shoot in after the hunt or a special field point that you can shoot into the ground. You can just push a button, draw back, and you're done. The bow has a ton of great features that every hunter and shooter will like cams are synced so that means that no matter the conditions your cams are always tied together adds accuracy and as a hunter accuracy needs to be number one. Like the name says sub one, sub one inch at 100 yards. Our existing MXB line is very accurate, but this was levels above that. We had to really push the statement at sub one. Matt McPherson and the engineering team set out to improve every category of the crossbow. Every component was analyzed. Their uncompromising commitment to using the highest quality materials results in a machine that is going to give the ultimate shooting experience. We have an AR style grip, which is interchangeable with other aftermarket AR grips. The buttstock is adjustable fore and aft and has adjustable comb, cheek piece. All things that any hunter and shooter is gonna really enjoy. The foregrip and all the, the grip and the buttstock, the materials we use in there was high end, so we get that ultimate user feel.
like that far out. We don't want another inch. Yeah, I can see it push just a little bit. Tight with purple. Yeah, that's a little bit tight. Another great thing about the new Sub-1 Mission Crossbow is it carries the famous Matthews Lifetime Warranty. When a hunter picks up this crossbow for the first time, they're going to know it's a cutting edge product that has a fit and feel of a high powered machine. We're always trying to do things radical. I've had people say for years, man, you don't do anything normal, you know? The reason why we do these things different at times is because we really see an advantage. We're setting a standard for a new professional grade. Insane accuracy. Nothing that's been seen before in the crossbow market. We're talking sub one inch at 100 yards. Very smooth. No recoil. Nice and quiet. Decocking device. That is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Bar none. <laughs> high-end quality product um, mission. They just knocked it out of the park. I mean, I've heard hundreds of crossbows, but I've never heard one this quiet. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. In six or seven shots, I hit pretty much where I was aiming, and that has to be built to the trigger, because that's I'm, I'm not a good enough shot to do that. Wow, that's pretty incredible, don't you think? I can't wait for this hunting season to roll around. A big thank you to the entire Mission and Matthews team for giving us the cool behind the scenes tour. Now don't go away because right after the break, we head north of the border with pro staffer John Herman, his father Bill, and his brother Rick for an Ontario lake trout trip you won't want to miss. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants. And Mountain Dew. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. Bring your dreams to life with custom building solutions and Meyer Buildings. Whether it's a new vacation home, farm addition, or commercial project, our attention to detail is second to none. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call us today for a better way to build. Hello, my name is Randy Jones. And I'm Julie Jones, and we're from Dallas, Texas. And we've been coming to Bowen Lodge for the last six or seven years. And when we come to Bowen's Lodge, we like to hire a local guide. We get to take advantage of his equipment, his boat, and most of all, his knowledge on fishing like when it be gosh. For more great fishing tips, log on to bowenlodge.com. Duncan Creek Wood Creations is putting quality, handcrafted products from the north woods of Wisconsin right at your fingertips. Offering a full line of custom wood furniture, bedroom sets, dining room tables, and cabinets. Available today, simply go to our website to select any of our in-stock, handcrafted, custom-made bars, bar stools, cribbage boards, and end tables. Shipped directly to your door in just days. Duncan Creek Wood Creations. Hey guys, John Herman here with Outdoor Bone TV. It's June 17th. Me and Pops are on our annual uh, trip up to Atacokan, Ontario. We just pulled into camp, Browns Clearwater West. Um, we got a special treat this week. My brother Rick's joining us. He's been up here uh, a couple times with us, but it's been six years since, he, uh, since he's been up. So. Um, we looks like we got some great weather coming up this week. We're going to be up here for five days of fishing. 
And this is always a great trip for me and Dad. It's a, it's a real pleasure to have Rick along with us. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time this week. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna be a great week, and I hope we catch lots and lots of fish. Rick, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm excited to get this going. All right, let's do it. We're gonna show you guys some lake trout here this afternoon. So stay tuned. Some lake trout fishing is coming your way. Well, I think we got into a laker here, and he feels like maybe a pretty decent one. There he is. These fish are a lot of fun on uh, what I call light tackle for a lake trout. Catching them. There he is. Laker? Yep. Oh, Laker. Oh, that's a nice Laker. That's a nice one. Nice and warm. We got about a five mile an hour north wind. We're uh, drifting a sand flat here. We're starting out in about 100 feet of water, going up into about 30. We are uh, using some nice cast masters, not tipped with anything right now. Uh, every drift that we come through here, we're getting a couple of fish, getting a few that we miss. It's a good afternoon. Another one for the cast master. Um, these fish that we're not keeping, we uh, try not to take them out of the water. We don't stress them out too much. So we get down there with a pair of pliers, leave them right in the water, get them hooks out of there so we can get them released as soon as possible. Gives us some fish for the next trip. Well, here we are back at camp having another wonderful meal of grilled lake trout. That's what you come to Canada for. And that's what we're doing. You come up here to catch fish, eat fish, throw fish back, and have a good time. And here we go. Seen him, it's gotta be a laker though. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's a thick one. Nice. Back in he goes for another day. Saw the boat. It's one of them bigger ones. Boy, here's another nice one. That's a dandy dandy. 
big as mine. Day three up here in Canada, 7 a.m. It's June, uh, what, 19th? So uh, we're gonna actually uh, portage into a, a different lake. It's called White Otter. It actually connects to Clearwater West Lake here uh, via river system. Um, it looks like we got a great day. If you can see behind us, it's, it's perfectly flat. It's supposed to be 80 degrees, maybe a five mile an hour wind. White Otter, maybe I can catch fish there. <laughs> the home of the 20 pound Maybe plus that's maker. that's where John Herman's wiggle will work. Well, we've been back on White Otter uh, trout fishing here for about three minutes, and uh, we're hooked up already. I uh, actually downsized to the 3 8 ounce hammered finish chrome cast master and tipped it with a minnow head. Um, Brother Rick has been kicking my butt with that one ounce uh, chrome cast master. Um, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure something out so that I can keep up with him. Let's see what we got here. We got this nice big laker. That is a dandy. <laughs> Just taking line. Look at him go. He made it all the way back to the bottom. <laughs> Look at how fat that fish is. Yeah. Oh, that's a dandy. I mean, that, that fish is only 27 or 28 inches long, but it weighs all of 10 pounds. It's gonna be a good day, kids. So, what time is it? It's 5.07. So dark isn't uh, until 9.30 up here. So, I mean, you can catch these fish all day long. Ooh, you got a nice one there. I can even get my hand there on it. That bait was in the water for a mm, couple minutes before I got bit. First time I used it. Well, we just dropped down and it was maybe uh, maybe a minute, maybe less than a minute. And we're butting into another one. If we can keep him on there, he's rolling and rolling. This is not your typical uh, Laker gear. I'm using a, a six and a half foot walleye rod, but it sure is fun fighting them. We're just bouncing these things basically off the bottom. We're in uh, 80 feet of water, and uh, these guys are using the cast masters. Dad's got a three-quarter ounce. Rick has been using an ounce all week. I was hoping I could get mine up first so it could help so yeah, Plus, yours is bigger than mine. Perfect. Beautiful. Wow, Laker. don't get no better than that. Alright, let's get her back. We get <laughs> five Lakers all day and we get five Lakers. <laughs> there it is, untipped, three quarter ounce chrome cast master. I don't know. That must look like a minnow down there, but man oh man. Acme gets the thumbs up today. It's been a uh, great week. We've caught lake trout, whitefish, we've caught smallmouth bass, northerns, walleyes, a little bit of everything. Uh, make sure you put it on your bucket list and try and get up here at least once. It's a great experience. What do you think, Rickles? I think it was an awesome week. Uh, hot. Definitely. <laughs> right. But you had the uh, right mojo going with the trout this week, eh? I did. I found it, I think. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but, you know, sometimes you just stumble across it. Yeah. Got to take what you can get, so. 
we uh, we I, I'd say we caught 75 to 80 Lakers between 22 and 32 inches. Yeah, easily. Yeah, I guess uh, until next time, right? Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by the W.C. Russell Moccasin Company and Brew Pub Pizza. What we chase cannot simply be caught. And what propels us takes far more than fuel. The distance we go is never measured in miles. And we find there's always more at the end of the line. Your moment is out there. Find it. We handle your races, your jumps, and your trails. Isn't it time you give your daily driver the same love? Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil delivers 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by leading industry standards. And now, ordering Amsoil is even easier. Simply log on to qcamsoil.myamsoil.com and have quality Amsoil products delivered right to your door. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Kingpin marks the third generation of archery's number one selling single pin adjustable sight. On the range or in the field, start ruling your kingdom today with the Optimizer Kingpin. The Optimizer Speed Dial. Extend the range and accuracy of your crossbow. To the yard accuracy with a single reticle. Simply range, dial, and shoot. All Optimizer sight systems are made in the USA and carry a 100% lifetime guarantee. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Big Bear Down. Whether you're looking for a sweet recipe for bear bait or quality bear scents, we've got you covered. Big Bear Down offers all their bait selections by the bag, the barrel, or in bulk. From crushed sugar cones, trail mix, and granola to our syrups, frostings, and bay toppings, we've got the variety to keep the most cautious bears coming back again and again. Big Bear Down scents can be used as an attractant or cover scent and draws bears in from miles around. Look for Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations or at a retailer near you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala and HHA Sports. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in today and be sure to be safe on all of your outdoor activities this week. And remember, if you get the chance, introduce somebody new to the outdoors. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the US, around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Suffix 10 pound clear, monofluorocarbon <laughs> line. Walleye time, walleye time. Right from the grill, about an hour and a half from the lake to the belly. So uh, stay tuned, some uh, lake trout, walleye, whitefish, bass, and northern action coming your way. That's good enough, huh? I would say so. 